Alright, so people were kind of asking how we put this up. This is basically, the skirting is basically two pieces of plastic. The first one goes pretty much all the way around the RV. It comes all the way, well, it goes all the way around to a gap in between the slides on the other side. And then they have a second section that wraps around from there over to right here. And that's where it ends. Um, people seem to not know what quarter round is. I'll go in here. It's about the only place I can show you what it is. What it is, is this stuff. It's basically, it looks like molding, kind of. Um, you go into any Home Depot, Lowe's, and just ask where the quarter round is. I'll show you what it is. But um, basically, the sheet, the plastic sheet is wrapped up around it, and then it's clamped into place. And that just kind of gives it um, a sturdier thing. I don't know what you would call it. It just makes it sturdier. That's what the guy said. Um, so it's clamped underneath from the inside, um, underneath this little lip that I've got right here. So it goes underneath. So the quarter round is in there. It's wrapped up around the plastic and then clamped down. And that's why you don't see clamps around here because um, they're clamped from underneath inside. Then the bottom is just um, wrapped around the plastic with two by fours and basically they're just really long two by fours. See there's where one ends and then it goes all the way there, stops again, go around here. They had to move this dog pen to do this. As you can see it just comes around. They just clamped it up and around the whole thing. Um, just found sections to I got a little lip right here, clamp it into the lip right there, the little plastic lip. Here's an example of where, um, basically what they did with the quarter round, they just, there wasn't any, the, this clamp actually comes up and under, um, but they couldn't get out underneath here, so they just clamp it from the outside. And they're just, they're just these extendable clamps that, as you can see underneath there it comes up and it just gives basically the quarter round let me show you a better one there see how it comes up under so it clamps up under there and the quarter round just helps gives it something to clamp against folded up my back stairs went all the way around there and then the back area here so I can get to the one of the um, dump sites they just put some bricks I had on top of the 2 by 4 so I can just pull it back when I need to dump the tanks and did the same thing here they just put instead of a 2 by 4 they just kind of put it up underneath the slide there and then um, put a cement block that I had laying around on it. And then again, more two by fours that they cut to go around the hose. And then comes up under here. And this, I can just reach in here and pull the, um, the levers. You can see the levers right there. Um, and then what they did here is so this didn't drag on this and it didn't pull down on this, they just clamped it up so it wasn't um, being drugged down, or they wrapped it up, sorry. But yeah, I can just reach in here and I pull the hose back, you can see my hand, and push it back in, and then that's nice and tight right in there. Um, so yeah, basically that's how the, comes back around here. And then had to clamp it up here in the front and because there wasn't any they used this silver tape because just right underneath here because there wasn't any lip underneath here for them to clamp the clamps onto so it's just taped right up here in the front so that is a little explanation of um the uh how the skirting is like i said it's just plastic sheeting quarter round cut and two by fours and some clamps. It's not actual 
um, RV skirting. We plan on doing that later on, but this is pretty sturdy and it'll work for a few seasons. So that's what we're going to do is keep it until it wears out and then buy the nice vinyl custom made stuff. All right, there you go, guys.